Christ. What are you doing to these people? No more talk. Nothing they weren't Sick expecting. Fort's got two rules. No guns and pay your protection fees. So what's that you're holding? Outcasts don't have to abide by the rules. Just enforce them. You got a problem with that? You can join these assholes. Pathfinder, it will be difficult to find the spy if you're barred from the city. Guess that's true. What was that? Nothing. I'll be on my way. Creep. You look like you're waiting for someone. I've got time for a drink. Shayna. But you can call me Reyes. I hate the code names. I was expecting someone more. And Garin. <laughs> the Resistance pays me to supply information. Among other things. So you're a smuggler? Your man, Venterev, was arrested by Sloane Kelly, leader of the Outcasts. Word spread about what he did to Moshe Sefa. The people are calling for his execution. And Sloane? <laughs> She's a woman of the people. Dress it up however you want. She's a criminal. You work for the Initiative. Sloane was part of the uprising on the Nexus. I doubt she'll give Ven up easily. Maybe she'll agree to a deal. There might be another way to get to Ven. You work Sloane. I'll talk to the Resistance. How do I contact you if things go south? Hey! You gotta pay! Keep the change. Always do. Tell me about Sloane Kelly. Before joining the initiative as head of Nexus Security, Miss Kelly served in the Alliance with a nearly spotless record. Nearly? She was involved in multiple altercations with other officers. A hothead. Great. Focus defenses here and here. The cat have been quiet for too long. What? You must be Sloane Kelly. I'm... I know who you are. So, what brings a Pathfinder to our humble port? Venterev. Name ring any bells? What's he to you? And don't lie to me. I need him so I can infiltrate a Ket flagship. You've obviously got no love for the Ket. I'm doing you a favor. Kadara is an Angaran port. They want Ven dead. 
and I want to keep them happy. This is bigger than local politics. You don't need Ven. You need his intel. Talk to him before I put his head on a spike. Ven should be judged by the Resistance, not you. I don't have time for a morality debate. Dismissed. Your Highness. Chambers are closed. Sloan's order. That could have gone better. Perhaps Mr. Vidal had more success. Pathfinder, over here. Have a nice chat? I think she likes me. <laughs> Don't worry. I found a workaround. Let me guess. It comes with strings attached. Not any new ones. Remember, Ephra wants Ven alive, so when you get inside, give him this. That'll eat through whatever Sloan's holding him in, and it can't be traced back to us. A resistance agent will be waiting to pick Ven up. Ben's intel better be worth it. <laughs> You'll be the judge of that, not me. There's a maintenance shaft around the corner, sending the access code to your Omni tool. That'll get you inside. You should be able to handle the rest. Thanks. You're a lifesaver. Literally, in Ven's case. When you're done, come to Tartarus. First round's on me. I promise. This appears to be the maintenance shaft Reyes mentioned. All right, let's punch in the axis. Looks like it leads to a stock room. Sam, anyone up there? No heat signatures detected. The room is clear to enter. <clears throat> what do you want? The Archon's ship. Where is it? This a new interrogation tactic? Sloane's getting lazy. I'm not with Sloane. Afra sent me. Answer my questions and I can get you back to the Resistance. So I'm trading one cell for another? Then, you betrayed the Moshai. You're lucky Afra wants you at all. For all his faults, the old man's not an executioner. The Archon's ship. Where is it? I never saw it. Got my orders from a Ket transponder. But you could use its frequency to triangulate the Archon's location. Do you still have it? I buried it before I was arrested. Should still be outside the city. This is your way out of here. A resistance contact will be waiting. Don't you want to know why I did it? Why I betrayed the Moshai? Enlighten me. We're losing the war against the Ket. And still, Ephra puts my brothers and sisters in danger to protect a useless old woman. So you took things into your own hands. I made the call he wouldn't. The Archon only wanted the Moshai. I thought if I gave her up... Ah. <sighs> I didn't know what the Ket were doing to my people. You resent Ephra, so the Archon used that against you. If Ephra was a better leader... Uh, it doesn't matter. And I'll accept the consequences. Pathfinder. The communicator is buried outside the ceasefire zone. I suggest bringing a squad. Vetra, Drac, are you back from... whatever it was you were doing? Yep, our completely legitimate business deal went off without a hitch. <laughs> Benefit of bringing a Krogan along. Tell Gil to prep the Nomad. I need to go outside the city. You've all seen a dead body before. Move along. 
the shard who strikes again. If you would like one, I can provide an analysis of the deceased. He's Angaran. There are multiple lacerations on the face and abdomen. Another body? I don't get paid enough for this shit. There's been more than one murder? Seven by my count, but that's all I know. Perhaps Mr. Vidal would have more information, Pathfinder. If you get whatever it is off your chest, you might feel better. Doubtful, but it's worth a shot. I joined the outcasts a few weeks ago. Kytus tasked me with collecting protection fees. Thought it'd be easy. But we talked to so many people, I got the names mixed up and banished someone who paid their fee. They didn't protest it? Of course, she did. But they all do. We don't really listen. What are the chances she's still alive? I don't know. Slim. The Badlands are... bad. I thought about looking for her, but I can't risk Kytus finding out I screwed up. I need this job to feed my little brother. Our mom's still in cryo on the Nexus. He's got no one else. I'll look for her. Just tell me her name and any clues about where she might be. Remy Tamayo. She would have gone to the slums for processing. After that, no idea. Uh, the Warden might know. Everyone who's banished to the Badlands goes through him. I give it ten minutes before we get knifed. Ryder, glad you're here. I'm sure you've heard about the murders. There's a fresh body outside Carlos. Some of the locals say it's the charlatan's handiwork. I don't buy it. The charlatan is discreet, careful. Whoever did this wanted the bodies found. Making a statement. But to who? The killer could be unhappy with how Sloan's running things. Less than a third of the victims are outcasts. No. If I was a betting man, and I am, I'd say it was the Rokar. Why would Rokar be in Kadara port? It's Angaran built, and before Sloan, Angaran run. I think the Rokar came here looking for new recruits, and things got out of hand. And the Angara victims? How do they fit into your theory? I did some digging. All of the deceased Angara were public Milky Way sympathizers. So the victims either were from the Milky Way... ...or supported us. It's the only pattern I could find. An Angaran port run by aliens would be a prime target for their cause. Problem is, I've got no proof. And the Resistance doesn't want to antagonize the Rokar. Guessing that's where I come in. I need that fancy AI of yours to scan for evidence that could implicate the Rokar. People are scared, Ryder. This is your opportunity to win friends in Kadara port. Looks like I'm adding detective to my growing list of titles. Detectives find things, and you're... A pathfinder. Yeah, I got it. One of the crime scenes isn't far. Give me a call when you get there. You look well enough. My patients are usually leaking from somewhere. I actually have my own doctor. Name's Ryder. I'm a Pathfinder. One survived? Could have used you when we got to Helios. Dr. Ryota Nakamoto. I used to work as the outcast's physician. Quit after Sloan turned what should have been a medical breakthrough into a drug. 
She's a criminal. What did you expect? She wasn't always like this. Life since the Nexus, it's changed all of us. When we arrived on Kadara, I found a local string of bacteria that shares properties with penicillin. Quite the find. It was, until I discovered the drug is addictive and induces hallucinations in large doses. I took my concerns to Sloan. All she saw was an opportunity to make a profit, called the drug Oblivion. But beyond stealing back my formula, there's no way to stop her. So let's steal the formula. Are you crazy? It's heavily guarded. I'm a doctor. I don't know how to fight. You don't have to. We'll handle this. The formula's in my old lab. Please don't get killed trying to fix my mistake. Hey, you there. Come talk to me. I'll make it worthwhile. You're that initiative big shot, aren't you? Some might say that. Don't fret. I'm not gonna hit you up for anything. Nothing specific, at least. You could say I'm disillusioned with the Exiles. People here can't be trusted. Sooner stab you in the back than work together. So, I got no love for any of them. Get to the point. Shit. Fine. Outlaws got innovative ways of putting stuff together. I bet a smart one like you could learn a lot from scrutinizing our, uh, stuff. You should check out Outlaw Tech and Materials. Might learn a few things. You remember who gave you the skinny on that. Activating automated forward station deployment. If you think. What do you know about the situation? You might say I'm the warden of the Badlands. It's not a place for tourists. Tough to be on these walls. What does tough look like? A graveyard of people who are either dead or soon will be. Badlands are Kadar's dumping ground. Like a giant prison. When you're too nasty for even this place, we kick you out there. You mean, exiles who get exiled? Yep. Worst of the worst. And some of them want to be there. Got secrets to hide, I guess. The water's toxic. Sulfur springs are everywhere. Have a nasty habit of catching fire. Yeah. <laughs> so have at it. Knock yourself out. I'm looking for a Remy Tamayo. Any idea where I might find her? Hmm, Tameo, Tameo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she's the one who kept insisting she's innocent. She is innocent. The outcast collecting the fees made a mistake. Remy paid up. Well, shit. That's never happened before. As far as you know. Don't get smart, Pathfinder. Last time I saw your girl, she was talking with Johan and his crew. Nasty bunch. I'll send you the nav point to their last known location. Prepare for a fight. Mining zones in this region are available, Pathfinder. I've added them to your nav system. Taking in the view? It's spectacular. These sulfur pools are dumping grounds for bodies. People hide all sorts of evidence out here. Give them credit for putting the land to good use. My name's Cenaris. One day there'll be a reckoning for all these murders. I'm trying to collect the evidence and account for the victims. That's just bleeding hard crusader crap. I'd rather collect whatever's on the bodies and make some cash. This is Drexel, a leech. I'd prefer to shoot him, but that would kind of go against the whole grain of my work. These cesspools are scattered everywhere. If you find any bodies in your travels, let me know. Future justice will thank you. Or let me know, and I'll thank you right now. <laughs> Pop 
Pathfinder, my sensors read an Andromeda plant sample nearby. here, as Anaris claimed. I have recorded the location and relevant DNA information for any future investigation. Another murder victim. I have logged the relevant information. Another murder victim. I have logged the relevant information. I detect no additional glyphs in the area. Time for a field op, Jal. What's your combat disposition? I kill the enemy before they see me. Do I need another one? Dr. Nakamoto's lab. He did say it was heavily armed.
company, the collective. produce the bacteria used in Oblivion. So anyone with access could make Oblivion? No, it's a complicated process. The outcasts were only successful because they had Dr. Nakamoto's formula and instructions. Please, don't shoot. I'm unarmed. Give me the Oblivion formula and you've got nothing to fear. Who are you? Dr. Arena Ferenth. Ryota sent you, didn't he? With a sob story about Sloan misusing his medical breakthrough. Something like that. Oblivion wasn't his breakthrough, it was ours. Is everyone on this planet a lying asshole? We always meant Oblivion to be a highly addictive drug. That it has medicinal value was a coincidence. Then why did Dr. Nakamoto quit the outcasts? Ryota didn't quit. He was fired. Push Sloan for a bigger cut. You've had what? One conversation with him? I've known Ryota for years. Everything he does, he does for credits. But you're different. I play survival above credits. Give Ryota the formula, and I'm as good as dead. Sloan will see to that. I've seen Sloan's outfit. Not a lot of doctors. You're too valuable to kill. She'll see it as cooperating with the enemy. Loyalty's more important to Sloan than brains. You're lying about Dr. Nakamoto to keep the formula. You willing to bet my life on that? Yep. Fuck you. news, Doctor. Got your formula. You have no idea what this means to me. One of your old co-workers, Dr. Ferenth, claimed she helped you create Oblivion. That it was always meant to be a drug. That's a lie. Arena's not even a doctor. Figured as much. You've only shown yourself to be a decent man. Thank you, Pathfinder. I won't forget this. Pathfinder, Reyes still needs your help investigating the murders in the Dara Port. your data pad? Are you one of them? Who are you afraid of? Who is them? Whoever's behind all this. Everyone's acting crazy, spouting all that nonsense. I can't remember how it started. I'm not even sure how I got here. What do you mean? Nobody's in their right mind. And there are these people, others. They showed up and they left this data pad. Ugh. Ugh. What did these people want? If I knew, I wouldn't be asking you. I heard one of them say, we left the data pad behind. Ugh. I'm... I'm fine now. I'm sorry to trouble you. It was nothing. Be seeing you. He exhibits relatively normal brain activity, though there are signs of highly elevated really stress. Like the the what can we do for them? Nothing immediate, though if you scan others, I may be able to locate the source of the signal. The 
intentional destruction of a given population. Deeper extrapolation on the matter is ongoing. This person shows signs of the same outside interference. I have now traced the source of the signal, marking the nav point on your map. to responsibly settle all your people in Helios. It seems incredible, sometimes. The idea of making places to live, even though we've already done it. There's so much hope riding on us. Hmm. Speaking for the Resistance, I know what that's like. You're not supposed to be in here? What the hell are you doing to those people out there? It's an experiment. Physically, no harm has come to them. They're fine. What sort of people are you? Unappreciated geniuses. We used to work for an organization called Cerberus. Until our boss decided he'd rather spend money on truly crazy ideas like bringing back people from the dead. Project Lazarus. Pure voodoo. But in Andromeda, we're our own masters. And what you saw out there, it's the birth of something amazing. A biological network. A host of minds all linked together. Connected. We're harnessing the power of consciousness to create a new kind of supercomputer. What is Cerberus about? Purity. We think humanity should chart its own course. Free of alien laws, or the morality designed to hold us back. Our boss was straying from the path, lost his focus. He and that Lawson woman were recruiting all the wrong people. Friends in low places. Andromeda is a chance for a do-over. Humanity should call the shots here. The rest can follow our lead. What exactly is this experiment doing to those people out there? The right energy focused at the right frequency can entrain a person's consciousness. The mind is ultimately just electromagnetic patterns. You mean mind control? Those people were banished. They're criminals. They were using their minds to make trouble anyway. We thought we'd make better use. And now, by linking them together, they're like a living computer. But working at the speed of thought. Similar to the computer you've got in your head. What are you doing on Kadara? The Badlands is a perfect place to do the work that needs to be done. Must be done. Against all these new threats in Andromeda, it's vital we find an edge for humanity. Enough of this. Sam? I've located the control for the signal. It will shut the experiment down. We can't stop you, but those people depend on the signal now. Their minds need it to function. Leave them be. How do we shut this experiment down, Sam? I can tune the signal against the scientists as punishment, freeing the people. The victims will likely suffer complications as a result. Or I can alter the nature of the signal to ease the victim's predicament, unlock the system from further changes. Or I could just walk away and do nothing. Change the signal. Try to make things easier on those people. You ruined it! Those people are no good to us now. Glad I could help. Now go back and crawl under the rock you came from. Last known location of this Johan guy. Hopefully, Remy's inside. And alive. Either way, Warden said to prep for a fight.
All right. Let's find Remy. Detecting traces of human flesh and blood. Sam, are you saying they were eating people? Yes, Pathfinder. Oh, I'm gonna be sick. Are you all right? They were going to eat me. I know. They brought a group of us here from the slums, said we'd be safe. I'm the only one left. You're safe now. It's over. No, it's not. I I'm still stuck in the Badlands, even though I paid my protection fee. I know. The outcast who wrongly kicked you out of Kadara Port, he sent me. Are they going to let me back in? At the very least. Grayson, I found Remy. We need a pickup. Thank God. I'll send a shuttle right away. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> We're approaching the scavengers that stole the Angoran satellites and destroyed the search vessel. What are the odds of surrender? Activating full station deployment. One percent. Mining suits in this region are available, Pathfinder. I've added them to your nav system. Scavengers chopped those missing in gar and satellites into scrap. I'll have the Tempest retrieve what's left for transport to Aya. Hi there. We're not looking to cause any trouble. Trouble is all there is on Kadara. We just want to be left alone and... Wait. I don't believe it. You look like a Pathfinder. I take it no other Pathfinders have strayed this far? I wish. Oh, it's good to see you. Just knowing the initiative's still out there making it work, that means a lot. Looks like you've got a good thing going here. We're refugees hiding on a world of exiles. We got kicked out of the Nexus, 
swept away in the uprising. We weren't looking to take sides or anything. We just wanted to eat. Then we found this place, remote, sheltered from the crazies in the Badlands, and the bedrock here filters the water. If you can spare the time, we could use your help. Speak to the others, and they'll fill you in. I'll unlock the doors. Oh, hi there. Something wrong? It's just hard. Exiled from the Nexus. My mother's still back there. I never said goodbye. Have things gotten any better? Better than it was. It'll take time, but life might actually get back to normal. Oh, that's good to hear. I just wish I could talk to my mom. I've been trying to reach her, but our equipment's broken. Not sure it would matter. The Nexus is so far away. Never know. I could take a look. Would you? That would mean the world. The communications junction is out of alignment. With an adjustment, a signal could reach the Nexus. There. Let's go see if that did the trick. Mom, are you okay? Oh, Muria. I've been so worried. I thought you were gone. Forever. But it's really you. I'm on Kadara. I'm okay. I miss you so much, Mom. I think about you every day, Muria. Someday we'll be reunited. There's a Pathfinder now. A rider. He seems to know what he's doing. <laughs> it's the reason we're talking. They helped fix our equipment. Well, give them a hug for me. This changed everything. I've got a reason to go on now. Goodbye, Mom. We'll see each other soon. Thank you. That meant everything. <laughs>